Welcome to KCP Eat Science. Now, question one says food nutrients and oxygen are carried to the fetus by. Now, um, we we'll have um, several options here, but in order to explain this question better to you, now you can see from this diagram, this is um, the placenta. This place is the placenta. Now, I want you to know the placenta is responsible for providing the food why the food goes through the umbilical cord you can see the umbilical cord carrying the food to the baby okay then uh, from there we can look at our option again you can now see that the correct option is actually the umbilical cord the um, amniotic fluid is actually the fluid that surrounds the baby in the womb okay then um, the uterine wall is the wall in which the baby stays now that's the correct answer which is going to be b so question two says the diagram below represents a type of root system now when you want to get that you're talking about root systems okay so you can see this is a root system for a plant like maize and other cereals so it's cereals that have this type of root system now you can see um, the one that contains cereal all through its um, option D. So the correct answer is um, D. So that will take us to question 3 which says, Which of the following parts of human breathing system initiates movement of air into the nose? Now, in breathing, there are, um, you have inhaling air and exhaling air. Now, when you are taking air out of your system, um, like remember the question says which of the following parts of human breathing system initiates the movement of air into the nose so what initiates movement of air into the nose is actually the diaphragm um, by um, the diaphragm can um, the diaphragm can contract and expand so in doing that it can um, initiate movement of air into the nose so the correct answer here it's uh, c now question four says which of the following weather instruments is currently matched to its use now um let's start from d it says rain gauge to measuring temperature you know for measuring temperature is supposed to be thermometer so this is not matched d is not matched um, thermometer it says measure amount of rainfall it's a rain gauge that measures the amount of rainfall so this does not match now a wind sock helps you to measure wind speed and direction of wind so this is correct why a uh, wind vane measures only the direction of wind so this is wrong so the correct answer here it's uh, option b because the wind sock can measure the direction as well as the speed of a wind so that takes us to question five which says which one of the following pair okay which one of the following pairs of concentrates provides animal with energy so now you can see uh, bone meal is not for energy so bone meal is out of it because it's in b and d um, salt leaks it's not for um, energy it's more for minerals why maize jam and sunflower seeds are the one that provides energy for um the animals so the correct answer there it's going to be option c question six says the following are possible food combinations rice watermelon and spinach chapati kale and meat chapati beans and irish potatoes ugali kale and kale and fish now the combinations that have a balanced diet now the first thing you need to know that a balanced diet should have you should have your carbohydrate. Um, you should also have your protein. You should have your fats and oil. You should also have uh, minerals. Um, you should have vitamins and water. So virtually, now from here, you can see rice. Rice is going to give you a uh, carbohydrate watermelon and spinach are more for vitamins and minerals now you can see option i does not provide proteinous food so that's out now chapati it's more of um 
the carbohydrate food um, then color provides vitamins and minerals why the meat provides uh, uh, can provide proteins and also can also provide you with fats and oil so I think from here this is a complete combination then uh, from here we have chapati which is more of a carbohydrate we have beans which is proteins and Irish potatoes which can provide also fats but we don't have vitamins and minerals but here Kale can provide vit um, minerals and vitamins fish can provide you with protein uh, and also fats and oil while garlic can also provide you with carbohydrates so this is correct so from here you can see that ii and iv is the correct answer so we are going to circle option c so question 7 says which one of the following has the greatest effect on formation of gullies on the farm now formation of gullies uh, type of soil does not really affect it soil cover doesn't affect it organic matter doesn't affect it but sloppy land a land that is sloppy will definitely affect make gullies to start forming because it will cause erosions and um, then it, why the water is wearing out the surfaces because it is gully then this will now uh, the water will be erasing out the top surface of the soil because it is gully therefore it will have the greatest effect on formation of gully that's a sloppy land question 8 says the following are ways of conserving water now you can conserve water by recycling you can convert conserve water by reusing you can conserve water by harvesting now in order to harvest water is to take a large storage drums and some other containers to store water but filtering does not conserve is not a method of conserving water so the correct answer here it's um, b question 9 says the following are source of electricity except we have a diesel engine b dynamo bicycle dynamo c car battery and d solar cells now a bicycle dynamo can help you produce electricity because it's connected with alternator you remember when you drive a bicycle there's a headlamp on top of it now the mechanical energy is converted that's a bicycle dynamo while you're moving your bicycle it can generate electricity and put on the light then the car battery you know your car battery once you put in your car battery you can get direct current from your car battery solar cells too are used for source of electricity but a diesel engine can uh, can also get you um, you can use it to generate power but it's not a conventional way it's not a clean source of energy so the correct answer here it's um, a diesel engine okay so question 10 says which one of the following does not lead to pollution of the environment now when animal urinates in water ponds it um, corrupts it pollutes the water and it's not good for drinking when vehicle produces um, smoke you inhale carbon monoxide which is hazardous to your health now when you spray pest uh, you spraying pest with pesticide is also harmful and it also pollutes the environment but when a plant rotting inside a forest it decays and turns to manure and it does not harm the environment rather it helps plants and crops to grow better so the correct answer here it's um, C